We are continuing our Gatsby and WordPress adventure right now with ACF, so advanced custom fields, which I must say were surprisingly easy to set up. First of all, you have to go into your plugins and install two plugins. I already installed them. So the first one is of course advanced custom fields because we are going to be using them. And then the other one is ACF to REST API. So this is the plugin that will push our ACF data to our A API. And next thing you need to do, you need to go to, let's say custom fields, <coughs> add new custom fields. And I'm just going to call it social, social. And we are just going to add two fields. One is going to be for Facebook and it's going to be a text field. And the other one is going to be Twitter. And it's also going to be a text field. Uh, I'm going to do a really simple example in this video. So just two text fields and the post type is going to be equal to post. And that's it. We publish this. And then we just go to our posts and go to the first one and maybe just add something right here. Nothing special. Okay. Update. Go to another one. And I'm just going to add just the Facebook field right here. So because I want to show you how you can control your output. You don't always want to output both fields if they don't exist. Okay, so we added Facebook and Twitter uh, data to our posts. Next thing uh, you must have enabled is in your Gatsby config.js file, uh, you have to have this use ACF set to true. So if it's not true for you, please just set it to true. And that's it for the preparation. Now let's just start our, our site. And as you can see, we get an error right here. We are getting this error because so if you stumble upon it, uh, you can just go right here and go to plugins and then hit the settings for the ACF uh, to REST API and it will take you to the permalix page. Now this is uh, defaulting to ACF version three of the API, I guess. So you have to set this to be version two and save changes. And now if we run our Gatsby develop again, everything seems to be working fine. Okay, if we go right here, go to our site, as you can see, our site is showing. So now let's just write the code that is going to spit out our ACF data to our posts. Okay, so how do we know if we have access to our advanced custom fields? So we just go to GraphQL, so localhost 8000 GraphQL, and I already have this query set up right here, all WordPress posts, edges, node, and then we are displaying all of our posts, as you can see right here. Okay, so to access ACF, you would just do, you can do a control space right here and get all of the options that you have. Uh, and ACF is actually one of them right here, so you would do ACF and if we do control space again you would get Facebook and Twitter okay so if I do control enter as you can see now we are getting all of this data right here but we are also getting ACF object with Facebook and Twitter fields so it should be easy to set up and display those fields on our page so right here I'm just going to go to posts and we are going to click on the first post because we want to display our ACF fields on the actual post. So in our post.js, uh, you would just do something like h3 Facebook. And you would, of course, first set up your GraphQL query, which is down here. So Facebook. And so just like in our gra graphical app. So Facebook and to display it, you just do post uh, dot ACF dot Facebook. 
Okay, and the same thing goes for Twitter. Okay, if I save this right now, go right here, as you can see, we are getting Facebook and we are also getting Twitter. Great. Okay, so now if I go right here, actually back one step and go to the post number two. So remember, we set only Facebook on this post and we are getting it, but we are getting this Twitter um, title. And what's even worse, if we go to post uh, number three, we get the error because we are not getting ACF at all. So if I show you this right now, if we just go right here, do console log. So we are console logging out this post, save it, turn on our console. So we should get an object right here, which says that our ACF content content is null. So that's not very good for us. Uh, so we need to set up some kind of conditions that will say, so if there is no ACF present, then don't print any of this out. Or if there is no Twitter present, don't show this. Or if there is no Facebook present, then don't show Facebook fields. So first, let's try to do this in a weird React way of doing things. ACF, so post.acf does not equal null and end i don't know okay so we do this and of course since you are using some logic in this render function you have to wrap all of this into a root element and okay so this is our code let's just save it and see it if it works if i refresh this okay now it works we are not showing any fields but at least our page is not breaking. Now, as I said, this may be because I'm coming from Vue.js or I'm just not used to this React type of code, but this just doesn't look readable to me. So let's try to do something uh, more, more JavaScripty. First of all, let's just check if ACF exists. So we are just going to do post.acf does not equal null then do something and what we want to do we want to check if facebook exists and if twitter exists so we're just going to do if post.acf.facebook does not equal empty string right uh, then do something and then we are going to set a variable called facebook to be a template literal and we are going to do inside it h3 Facebook and then we are going to print out the actual value of the field. So in template literal you would just do dollar sign curly braces and then you would just do post dot ACF dot Facebook. Okay. And we do the same thing for Twitter. Okay, now that we did that, uh, we need to display those fields in our template. But before that, we just need to define those variables. So let Facebook is empty string and Twitter is also empty string. So now we are just going to dangerously set HTML to be HTML. Facebook and we are going to do the same thing for Twitter. Okay, and that should actually be it. If I save this, refresh the page, as you can see, we are not getting any errors. Uh, but if we go back and go to the post number two, we are getting just Facebook, but we are not getting the Twitter field because Twitter doesn't exist. And also on the page number one, we are getting Facebook and Twitter. Cool. So this works. But if you want to do something more complicated, uh, you can use flexible content, which is a feature of ACF. 
and it comes with I think only the paid version of ACF and there is an example right here how you can use that. So this is the GitHub page of a Gatsby source WordPress plugin which we are using in this video. So as you can see this is a bit more complicated query in which you would do this page builder page type name and then you would do something like uh, this here. Because when using flexible content your field has few more fields in it or many more fields in it. Okay, so this has been it for this video. Uh, remember everything we did here will be available for you on GitHub. Uh, the link will be in the description below. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like the channel, subscribe to it. And if you wanna send some money my way, I have a Patreon page so you can use that. And to all my uh, current patrons, and there are not many of them, thank you very much. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.